Hello, Leo. Welcome to Wasted Traditions. I'm Tiffany. Here we explore the wisdom of the tarot. I read intuitively, offering general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And before we start, I'm going to bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light. As I shuffle and draw, may your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. Okay, Leo, let's get into it. You're reading for the week of March 3rd through March 9th. Divine Spirit, what does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? Do tell. This is the gold foil tarot. This, this is a beautiful rose gold deck and it is very slippery so a card spill could be imminent <laughs> just bear with me all right leo what does divine spirit need you to know spirit do tell All right, a quick peek at the shadow card, which ends up on the bottom of the deck. Shadow cards point to your hopes or fears. You have the lover's card. We will get to this shortly. All right. So for Leo, we have the eight of wands, the hierophant. Wow. And the six of cups. Whoa, Leo. Amazing. Whoa. All right, so we know there is swift action for sure. There is something, um, looks like your higher power needs you to sit up and pay attention, Leo. And then with the Six of Cups, there is some sort of healing. And, and that could be what the Hierophant is needing you to pay attention. There's some healing that needs to take place, Leo, swiftly. And it's a powerful shift in place for you with this healing that your higher self is looking to get you to understand and pay attention to. Yeah, this is going to be rapid action. So with this Hierophant... Your higher self is asking you... To free yourself. Free yourself from something in your past. Free yourself. Forgive yourself. Your higher self is, is, is asking you to forgive yourself swiftly for something from your past. There is freedom in forgiveness. Forgive yourself. There's a change that is going to happen. It's going to happen rapidly. A rapid change for you, Leo, when you decide to go ahead and forgive yourself for something from your past. You haven't let that go. You haven't forgiven yourself and you need to do that so that you can start a healing with this Six of Cups. With this Six of Cups, there's a healing in store for you and, and there's a freedom and a liberation for you. Leo, to go ahead, release yourself, liberate yourself. A change, a rapid change happens, a rapid shift, rapid shift happens in your life when you are able to take heed to higher self and forgive yourself to create that healing. And the shift will happen just like that. Let's take a look at this shadow card. We will get clarifiers. So your shadow card is the lovers, Leo. Hmm. Hmm. There's a duality. And that's your struggle. The duality is your struggle, Leo, because you have yet to forgive yourself from mistakes in the past. You, you feel like you're walking between two worlds, Leo, because you haven't given yourself the chance at freedom that comes with forgiveness. Divine Spirit, your higher self is telling you to take the opportunity for healing. Let's get some clarifiers. Clarify 
for Leo Divine Spirit. What does this Six of Cups mean for Leo? Do tell. A healing for Leo. Oh no. Let's do it again. Big, a big shift, a big change, a rapid change. Do tell Divine Spirit, do tell this Six of Cups for Leo. Mm. I got two here. That's, we got two for this Six of Cups. Okay. This Six of Cups, I asked for a clarifier for the Six of Cups for you, Leo. Divine Spirit says you are essentially holding yourself hostage. You are holding yourself hostage from your mistakes from the past. What you have done, that the biggest mistake you have made does not define who you are, Leo. You are holding yourself hostage. You're doing this. You're a puppet master over yourself, and it's not to your benefit. You have to bring healing in, release yourself from being held hostage by your mistakes from the past. And then we have Three of Cups clarifying this Six of Cups. There will be joy. There will be joy when you forgive yourself, when you release yourself from the mistakes of your past and release yourself from your, your own hostage situation, Leo. Come into community with yourself. Come into community with yourself, Leo. Finding balance and harmony with yourself that creates greater relationships with others. You have to improve your relationship with self, Leo. And that will help you improve relationships with others. What else does Leo need to know, Divine Spirit? Mm-hmm. Queen of Cups. Excuse me. That that forgiveness brings calm into your life. It brings um, stability into your life. Check on your emotional well-being. Because as above, so below. Have that line up. Have that balance for yourself, Leo. You're breaking your own heart but not forgiving yourself. You've broken your own heart. It is self-imposed heartache, Leo, because you are unforgiving of your past mistakes. Realize you are a human. Those mistakes were opportunities for growth, even though they were painful. Growing pains are an everyday thing. You have broken your own heart, Leo, and it's time to forgive yourself. One more. The fruits of your labor, as far as you have come, the fruits of your labor, those experiences are not for nothing, Leo. Examine yourself. Reflect on the life you've lived thus far and realize that you are built for greatness. You are built for this. You will make mistakes, but you can always come back. You can always come back to yourself. Bring your spirituality into the situation. Level up your spiritual muscle Connect more freely, often, and willingly with your higher self for that guidance because you're worth it. You're more than capable. All right, Divine Spirit, give us a single oracle card from the Shaman's Dream Oracle for Leo. Divine Spirit, a single oracle card for Leo. And I guess that's it. That's the oracle card. Thank you, Divine Spirit. Gathering around the power of community. All right, what I'm getting from this. There is abundance for you in community. Get connected with like-minded people who are doing things you want to do, who are going places that you want to go, Leo. There is power in that. There is abundance in that connection of community. There is success in that connection with community, Leo. Here's your sign. Find that trusted tribe.
And that doesn't mean it has to be a huge group either. That could be two or three more people. They are trusted. They are honorable. And they will help you elevate to the next level. And help you learn how to forgive yourself. Okay? Because when you find that tribe... They've gone through the same thing, and they're going to help you navigate the path of self-forgiveness. All right, Leo, one more card from the Spirit Animal Oracle, Divine Spirit. What Spirit Animal will Leo embody this week? Porcupine Spirit, time for beginner mind. Start over, Leo. Start over. Work diligently at true self-forgiveness, Leo. Give yourself a clean slate from this point forward, okay? Knowing that you are more than the mistakes you've made. You are worthy of a life well lived. You are worthy of self-love and self-respect, okay? So start over. Begin our mind. Wipe your slate clean, okay, Leo? Create that foundation that will catapult you to the next level of your life you will become more stable in all areas of your life mentally emotionally physically and spiritually but give yourself a chance at rapid forgiveness okay healing harmony success abundance and power it's all there for you leo it's all there for you Thank you so much for watching the video, Leo. I hope it has resonated with you and you find it useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos that I have for you. I will see you soon. Until next time, bye-bye.